Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you a couple new things about dates and weeks and setting up baselines. I had someone come to me and say, hey, I'd like to see six weeks worth of data, but I want it to be dynamic. I want to be able to change which days I'm looking at. Simple enough. When you're going to be changing something, you're going to want to create a parameter. So that's what I did. Show you what I did here. A selected date, date, uh, just current value, and then I had it be a list, and I had it populated from the orders, the order date. And there it is, all the dates. Then I came up here and I created another filter. It's going to show you, basically says, hey, if it is, if the selected date, that's the parameter, minus the order date, is less than or equal to 41 days, it's that weird thing between, you know, instead of 42, you've got a day in here, you got to include that full day, it's not the difference. Anyway, it's 41 days, and if the order date is less than the selected date, so you don't want some order date way out in the future, then you're going to say equals show, Otherwise, don't show. All right, hit OK. And we've got filter on show here. We've got the order date. We want to show it by week, sum of sales. And it looks pretty good. The problem is, if you look, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks of data when we only wanted six weeks of data. What happened? Let's come and take a look at the table. Some of you already know it, not in your head, you know where this is going. Look at this down here. The last week, we selected May 7th. We've got one, two, three, four, five days in that month, or that week. And then March 22nd, we've got a couple extra days here. So what's happening is, unless you pick the exact last day of the month, I mean the week, you're going to be getting partial weeks, and that's being reflected in this chart here. So how do we fix that? Let's go and take a look. We've got the same six-week data, but now we created a new field called week starting. Blow up. All right. So now what we're doing, I've introduced a new mathematical operation called the modulo. M-O-D-U-L-O. And what this does, it's like a divide, except the result isn't how many times the number goes in, the divisor goes into the, the numerator, it's the remainder. So what I'm trying to do here is calculate full weeks. So if the selected date minus the order date is a multiple of 7, meaning the modulo is 0, then we're going to just do the order date, but instead, this would give me the um, the end of the week. I actually want the Monday, so I'm going to actually back off six days. Trust me, you'll you can experiment with it, and you'll see what I mean. Under date add, we're going to add dates. We're going to use the same formula here, the modulo, and this is going to be calculating that same Friday. So we're going to say, okay, if this is, if it's a Wednesday, there's going to be two, there's a modulo, a remainder of a couple days. We add that to the order date to push it out to the end of the week. And then once again, we want to move this to the front of the week, so we minus six. And you'll be able to see that here. Let me scroll down to the end. So we have picked May 7th. So here's May 7th. In the modulo, I've already done the calculation, is 0, because that date divided by that date is 0. These dates didn't have any sales data, so they're null. But this date divided by this, or subtracted by this, divided by 7, they have a remainder of 3 days. And so what we're doing with adding those 3 days we make it May 7th, and then when we subtract the 6, we're making it May 1st. The reason we're doing the week starting is for the graphs that I'll show you a little bit later on. 
Same thing up here. April 30th minus May 5th is a full seven days. What will happen here, April 29th has a remainder of one. It doesn't go in there completely. And so then we move it to April 30th with the date add. And then we move it back to April 24th with the minus six. Okay. And so now we've got a full week here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Full seven days associated with this May 1st date. If we scroll up to the top here, we have a full six days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven days. All right. Now, so when we come to this chart here, we've got six weeks of data, which looks good. Um, which looks good. When we come here, we're looking for the April 12th date. This is the week starting April 12th. April 12th. Wait a minute. Let's go back and take a look. This doesn't feel right. Something is April 12th. April 12th is not one of our week starting dates. So what's happening? What's happening is that we've put the week starting field, we've associated it with the week number. That week number starts with April 5th or April 12th. It doesn't matter what we had as our starting date. All right? It doesn't matter what we have here. It says, okay, uh, looking at our cal calendar, when does April, when's the beginning of April 3rd? Oh, the week starting, or April 10th, or whatever the week was. That actually starts on April 5th. So regardless of what we used as our starting point, Tableau is saying, this is when the calendar week started. So how do we fix that? All right, a couple things. First thing we do is we bring, I'll do it over here. Instead of week starting, we're actually going to change it from week to day. All right, so now it's saying, hey, this doesn't, well, that, Okay, great. We've got the right starting date, we think. Here's April 10th. April 10th, good. April 3rd is the next one. Uh, April 3rd, but these weeks are all screwed up. First thing we want to do is we want to expand it so it ha fills in all the space like we had with that first chart. Come under Size, under Fixed. Look at this, Width and Days. So we're just going to say we want it to be seven days. Well, that looks great. That's more of what we were looking for. Here's April 3rd, but April 8th, April 13th. The labels still are not matching up with, you know, our day of the week. So what we'll do is we'll come here. We'll right click on edit axis. And then we're going to come under tick marks. The major tick marks, we're going to say fixed. And we're going to change this to, instead of years, we're going to change this to weeks. And close that. And now our graph lines up. March 27th, March 27th, March 3rd, March 3rd, and so on. So now when we compare the two, now we've got two trends. We can see, okay, this is the week starting April 12th. Our week actually starts for April 10th. Now if we can come up here, we'll change the date. December 12th, 19th. Now our date is changed, and now you can see this doesn't look right. This is probably only has one day in that week. Whereas here, this is more reasonable. This is more what we would expect a full week to look like. There you go. One way to create full weeks using a dynamic date. Thanks for watching. 
Make sure you leave comments and please subscribe. Enjoy.